Hi Capricorn, this is Sandy Couture and I am here doing the Astrological Tarot reading <clears throat> Excuse me, <clears throat> for the sign of Capricorn. And I'm sorry this video is late. However, I came back from Illinois visiting my grandchildren who are little, tiny, uh, with a cold. And so I've just gotten to where I can talk for any prolonged period of time without coughing too much. So anyway, I wanted to get this video out before this weekend when there's going to be a new moon in Leo. <coughs> Excuse me. So this month, um, the last two weeks, at least all of the Leo season, we have been feeling a lot of internal pressure. And the reason for that is that Saturn, the planet of quick, uh, no, the planet of manifestation and uh, crystallization, but also the planet of form and structure. It's not a non-structured manifestation. It's structure is opposing the sun in Leo. Now, the sun in Leo is very bombastic, very expansive, very out there. You know, go, go, go. So adding, you know, this structure in opposition to this vivaciousness, there's been a lot of pull and push internally. And in addition to that, um, Uranus, the planet of quick, brilliant change, is in a square to both of those um, planets. And <clears throat> basically what that is called is a T-square. And that puts a lot of internal pressure on all of us to, um, to figure out what it is we want and move forward. So you may have been feeling a bit restless, you know, like uh, you know something's got to change. You might not know what it is. Maybe you do know what it is, I'm not sure. But it's, it's been there and it's right at the edge. You can feel it happening for you, but you haven't quite grasped it yet. Well, this weekend, the new moon in Leo, thrown in the mix of all of that energy, that T-square, is going to be the perfect time to move forward. <coughs> Excuse me, and figure out exactly and take your first steps because the next two to three weeks in August are going to have very loving and um, beautiful support to moving forward in a new direction. So um, take some time this week to do some meditating on your goals, at least for the month of August. I think it would be a good thing. So, anyway, the first card that I pulled for you is temperance now the temperance card is about balance you know temperance is is um mixing of elements to reach the perfect whatever they are um so this beautiful redhead is in water but holding fire in front of i'm not sure what planet that is the red planet mars action sign you know um fire you know it's like Okay, the water is, is calming you down and the fire is exciting you, but it's time to experience temperance within yourself because right now you are ripe for transformation, um, spiritual soul transformation, possibly physical manifestation transformation too. So hang in there. Now the challenge card for you, Capricorn, because most Capricorns that I know um, want to be the goat and push their way to the top. Um, but quite frankly, what you need to do is surrender. The Ten of Swords is about surrender. Swords are mind, intellect, ideas. They're floating down to him. They're not coming down faster they would be in him in a golden light. So that's the light of the heavens. And you just need to surrender and receive whatever information is coming to you. Um, the process card is the nine of cups this is a very expansive card this is a water card emotions it's time for you to expand beyond your current boundaries of who you are and um wow that sounds pretty cool that didn't come for me that was channeled and your outcome card is one of the best outcome cards that there is it's the world card you know it's like the world is your oyster you have it all you need to do is balance yourself, be ready for the transformation, surrender, um, allow the expansion to happen within and without you, with outside of you, and then you've got it all. You have what you're seeking. So hopefully that was helpful for you Capricorns out there. It's a pretty cool reading. And if you have any questions about your personal astrology, feel free to contact me and I'll get back with you. Have a wonderful month. Bye now.